Happy Friday. So I am back in Peaceburg, Pennsylvania. I was gone for a few days in California. I was participating in the Love Amp Festival. Here I have the shirt from it. And the premise of this event was to amplify the vibrations of love. And so I was presenting for the HeartMath Institute and the Global Coherence Initiative and speaking really about how the heart is a lot more than just a pump which pumps blood, you know. We're kind of taught in mainstream anatomy that the heart is just the big pump that um, keeps the blood flowing, but really there's a lot more to it than that and so I spoke on some of the new cutting-edge science breakthroughs and research on how the heart has a huge impact on our day-to-day -day lives, our emotions, and how it connects with the brain, and how the electromagnetic field of the heart spreads out in all directions around us. And uh, a few days after the festival, I was reading this book that somebody at the festival had called Heart Wisdom and I realized wow I'm actually pretty disconnected from my own heart and rarely do I actually put my hands on my heart or really feel what my heart is feeling and it was like a huge realization to me that I'm supposed to be presenting on this topic but here I am not even really listening to my own heart or tuning into it or or just being unaware of it and really being wrapped up in my mind and um, it was just a really big realization to me and since then I've been really trying to tune into my heart and that's what I'm going to talk about in this video why perhaps we're so disconnected from our hearts and how we can reconnect, why would we would even want to reconnect because most people are like, oh, you want to connect with your heart, that's like some lovey-dovey crap or something and um, I feel like in our, in our dominant culture growing up we come into this world as little tiny babies all fragile and um, ready to explore the world and we our ba babies are just so open open hearted and but then we come into this kind of scary world of, of violence and people yelling and stuff and the babies as babies we slowly get brought up in this culture and we start to put walls around our heart because we're like oh I can't be open all the time because there's these scary things I have to set up all these defense mechanisms and uh and then as you grow up you just continually put more I feel like we put continually more barriers between our hearts and our minds and the rest of the world and then as we grow up in adults we're we're largely disconnected from our own hearts which then makes us feel disconnected from other people and we don't really connect with the natural world like wilderness very much so we're kind of disconnected from that and uh, and so it relates to like a bully in elementary school you know the bully is constantly like yeah yeah you're ugly you're fat and and uh, and just making fun of other people but it's really because they are so self-conscious co themselves and so um, so unsatisfied with themselves and I feel like our dominant culture is um, kind of disregards that the heart has anything to offer or kind of just doesn't doesn't cover it growing up that you're supposed to listen to your heart it's just for for the love songs and stuff you know but it doesn't really mean anything practically you know you're not going to get a job because you listen to your heart um, so our culture is is kind of like the bully because it just kind of pokes fun at the heart or doesn't really pay attention to it and kind of says oh that's some lovey-dovey crap and but it's really because our culture has 
or it has barriers all around its heart or our culture has no heart because it's killing all these other cultures and so it's really that I feel we need to break down these barriers that are surrounding our hearts and oftentimes that's really painful and for me personally I've had a lot of really intensely powerful experiences that have been painful but they're healing that's how you that's how we heal these these wounds that we have growing up in our crazy culture is by really tuning into the heart and feeling the pain of our own hearts and uh, through that the pain of of the whole world of people who have been harmed and stuff and then we're able to heal and really begin to live live fulfilling lives and live honestly and live from the heart once we break down those barriers and um, I mean it can be really really hard for people to do that it has been pretty challenging for me to to really break through a lot of these painful experiences that we kind of hold in our bodies but once you release them it's like your whole life has changed and so I'm just gonna sing this little song you're welcome to sing along with me um, it helps me to tune into my heart it's a, a Native American song and um, I feel it's really powerful so it goes like this Ele ole ole 